This module is tailored to help you research and book speaking opportunities for volunteer speakers at the Children's Society. This training program is designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge needed for this desk-based research and administrative role, which plays a crucial part in expanding our outreach efforts. You can complete this module in one sitting or take time to work through the sessions. Let's dive in. Session 1. Understanding the Children's Society Session 1 will help you gain insight into the Children's Society's mission, vision and key programmes and help you understand the importance of spreading awareness through speaking engagements. Our vision is to envision a society where every child can thrive, free from poverty and exploitation. Our mission is to empower children facing adversity, providing opportunities for a brighter future. Activity Reflection Take a moment to reflect on how the vision and mission align with your own beliefs and values. Consider what impact these two statements would have on the lives of vulnerable children if they became a reality. Session 2. Key Areas of Work The Children's Society key areas of work include, but not limited to, Advocacy Campaigning for policy changes that benefit vulnerable children task. Find one advocacy project on the Children's Society website. Support services. Providing direct support to children facing adversity. Task. Find one direct support project on the Children's Society website. Research and awareness. Conducting research and spreading awareness to address the root causes of challenges faced by children. Task. Find a publication or campaign on the Children's Society website that address the root causes of challenges faced by children. To conclude this section, summarise the main points, vision, mission, values and key areas of work. Acknowledge the role of individuals in supporting the Children's Society's mission. Invite further exploration through the organisation's resources. This self-guided learning session offers a quick overview of the Children's Society's vision, mission, values and key areas of work. Take a moment to reflect on how these elements resonate with you and consider exploring more about the organisation's initiatives to make a positive impact on vulnerable children's lives. Roll overview researching and booking speaking opportunities. In this session, we delve into the specific responsibilities and expectations of your role and learn how your desk-based research and administrative tasks contribute to the organisation's goals. Local speaker coordinator volunteers help us to secure volunteer talk bookings by researching and identifying potential new contacts who may be interested in hosting a talk about the work of the Children's Society by one of our volunteer speakers reaching out to new audiences to seek talk bookings, feeding back learnings about new audiences to community relationship managers to improve relationships, liaising with our volunteer speakers to confirm bookings, safely handling data and sharing this with the Children's Society in line with data protection regulations, visibility and advocacy. Identifying speaking opportunities allows representatives from the Children's Society to share their expertise and advocate for children's rights, welfare and well-being. Engaging in speaking engagements helps raise awareness about the organisation's mission, programmes and the issues affecting children. Networking and partnerships Researching potential speaking opportunities may involve identifying events, conferences or forums where influential individuals and organisations are present. Participation in these events can lead to networking opportunities and the establishment of partnerships that can further support the organisation's goals. Resource mobilisation Speaking engagements can attract attention and support from donors, sponsors and other stakeholders. By effectively administrating these tasks, the organisation can optimise its resource mobilisation efforts, ensuring that funds and resources are available to implement and expand programmes for the benefit of children. Educational outreach. Speaking engagements provide a platform to educate the public, policymakers and other stakeholders about issues affecting children. 
Proper administration ensures that the organisation's message is effectively communicated, contributing to increased understanding and support for the cause. Policy influence. Engaging in speaking opportunities allows representatives to contribute to policy discussions and advocate for positive changes in legislation or regulations that impact children. Desk-based research can help identify key policy forums where the organisation's voice can make a significant impact. Monitoring and evaluation. Administering speaking engagements involves tracking the outcomes and impact of these activities. Monitoring and evaluating the effectiveness of speaking opportunities help the organisation refine its approach and focus on strategies that align with its overarching goals. Stakeholder engagement. Proper administration ensures that the organisation maintains positive relationships with stakeholders, including event organisers, partners and the audience. Consistent and well-managed engagement contributes to the organization's credibility and influence. In summary, desk-based research for speaking opportunities and the efficient administration of these tasks contribute to the children's society's goals by increasing visibility, fostering partnerships, mobilizing resources, educating the public, influencing policies, and ultimately working towards a better future for children. Session 4 Research and Potential Speaking Opportunities In this session we'll look at Identifying target audiences and venues suitable for the children's society talks Utilising online resources and databases to find events and gatherings Learning how to assess the relevance and impact of potential speaking engagements Session 4 Research and Potential Speaking Opportunities In this session we'll look at Identifying target audiences and venues suitable for the children's society talks. Utilising online resources and databases to find events and gatherings. Learning how to assess the relevance and impact of potential speaking engagements. The children's society, with its focus on advocating for and supporting the well-being of children, may find speaking opportunities and collaborations with a variety of organisations. Here are some types of organisations that may be interested in having a speaker from the children's society. Educational institutions, schools, colleges and universities may be interested in having a speaker to address students, educators and parents on topics related to children's education, well-being and support services. How to approach Approaching an educational institution to offer a talk on the work of the children's society involves a strategic and respectful outreach process. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. Identify key contacts. Find the appropriate contacts within the institution, such as administrators, event coordinators or relevant faculty members. This may involve checking the institution's website, contacting the communications office, or using professional networking platforms. Highlight relevance to students. Emphasize how the talk can enrich the educational experience of students. Discuss potential topics that align with the institution's curriculum or broader themes related to social responsibility and community engagement. Offer customization. Be flexible and open to tailoring the talk to meet the specific interests and needs of the institution. This could include adjusting the content, format or duration to align with the institution's preferences. 
demonstrate expertise, showcase the expertise of the Children's Society and the speaker who will be presenting. Highlight any relevant qualifications, experiences or successful engagements with other educational institutions. Follow up. After the initial outreach, follow up with the institution to express continued interest, answer any questions and provide additional information as needed. Be responsive and accommodating to their scheduling preferences. Other non-profit organisations working in related fields, such as child advocacy, social services and community development, may seek speakers to share insights, collaborate on initiatives or raise awareness. Demonstrate expertise. Showcase the expertise of the Children's Society and the speaker who will be presenting. Highlight any relevant qualifications, experiences or successful engagements with other educational institutions. Offer collaboration opportunities. Express a willingness to collaborate beyond the talk, such as facilitating student involvement in related projects, internships or volunteer opportunities with the Children's Society. Propose interactive elements. Suggest interactive elements such as cue and sessions, discussions or workshops to engage the audience and make the talk more dynamic and participatory. Follow up. After the initial outreach, follow up with the institution to express continued interest, answer any questions and provide additional information as needed. Be responsive and accommodating to their scheduling preferences. Remember to approach the institution professionally, respecting their time and priorities. The key is to demonstrate how the Children's Society's talk can contribute to the educational experience of the students and align with the institution's goals and values. Government agencies. Government departments and agencies responsible for child welfare, local council and social services may be interested in partnering with the Children's Society for expert perspectives and collaboration on policy issues. How to approach. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. Research the government department or agency. Understand the specific goals, priorities and initiatives of the government department or agency you are targeting. Research their recent activities and policies related to child welfare, education and social services. Identify key contacts. Determine the relevant contacts within the government department or agency, such as officials responsible for outreach, community engagement or public affairs. Use official websites, directories or networking platforms to find the appropriate contacts. Emphasise alignment with government priorities. Clearly articulate how the Children's Society's work aligns with the government's priorities and initiatives. Demonstrate how the talk can contribute to shared objectives in areas such as child welfare, education and social services. Highlight success stories and impact. Showcase success stories, case studies or examples of the Children's Society's impact in collaboration with government agencies or similar entities. Provide evidence of positive outcomes and contributions to the community. Propose collaboration beyond the talk. Express interest in establishing a broader collaboration beyond the talk. Propose joint initiatives, partnerships or collaborative projects that can enhance the effectiveness of child welfare, education or social services. Be flexible in format and timing. Offer flexibility in terms of the format and timing of the talk. Be willing to tailor the presentation to meet the specific needs and preferences of the government department or agency. Healthcare organisations. Approaching hospitals, healthcare institutions and organisations focused on children's health to offer a talk on the intersection of health and well-being for children and adolescents, along with your work on spotting signs of exploitation in young people, involves tailoring your message to align with their interests and goals. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. Research the healthcare institutions. Understand the specific focus, priorities and initiatives of the healthcare institutions you are targeting. Familiarise yourself with their programmes, events and areas of interest related to children's health and well-being. 
identify key contacts, determine the relevant contacts within the healthcare institutions, such as heads of paediatric departments, emotional or community outreach coordinators, use official websites, directories or networking platforms to find the appropriate contacts, craft a purposeful introduction, develop a concise and purposeful introduction that clearly communicates the purpose of the talk and how it aligns with the healthcare institution's focus on children's health and well-being. Emphasize the relevance of your work in spotting signs of exploitation. Highlight the intersection of emotional health and well-being. Clearly articulate how the talk addresses the intersection of health and well-being for children and adolescents. Discuss the importance of a holistic approach to child health, including the identification and prevention of exploitation. Showcase expertise in child health. Highlight the children's society's expertise in child health, including any research, programs or initiatives that have positively impacted the health and well-being of young people. Emphasize the significance of exploitation prevention. Clearly communicate the importance of recognizing and addressing exploitation in young people as a crucial aspect of overall health and well-being. Provide examples or case studies to illustrate the relevance of the topic. Offer practical insights and tools. Outline how the talk will provide practical insights and tools for healthcare professionals to identify signs of exploitation in their practice. Emphasise the value of collaboration in creating a safer environment for children and adolescents. Propose collaboration beyond the talk. Express interest in collaborating with the healthcare institution beyond the talk. Propose joint training sessions, workshops or initiatives to further enhance the institution's capacity to address child exploitation. Corporate Social Responsibility CSR Programmes Companies with CSR programs that align with child welfare and community support may invite speakers from the Children's Society to engage their employees and stakeholders. How to approach. Approaching companies with corporate social responsibility CSR programs that align with child welfare and community support to offer a talk on the work of the Children's Society involves presenting a compelling case that demonstrates the alignment of your organization's mission with their CSR goals. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. Research the company's CSR initiatives. Investigate the company's CSR programs, mission statements and recent initiatives related to child welfare and community support. Understand their values and the specific areas they focus on within CSR. Identify key contacts. Determine the appropriate contacts within the company responsible for CSR or community engagement. This could include CSR managers, community relations officers or relevant department heads. Utilise professional networks, company websites or LinkedIn. Align with CSR goals. Clearly articulate how the Children's Society's work aligns with the company's CSR goals. Showcase specific programmes, projects or initiatives that demonstrate a shared commitment to child welfare and community support. Showcase measurable impact. Highlight the measurable impact and positive outcomes of the Children's Society's work. Use data, success stories or case studies to illustrate the tangible benefits and the potential for the company to contribute to positive change. Emphasise employee engagement. Emphasise how the talk can contribute to employee engagement and morale. Discuss the potential for employees to connect with the company's CSR initiatives on a personal level through understanding and supporting child welfare efforts. Offer educational insights. Explain how the talk can provide valuable educational insights into the challenges faced by children and communities, fostering awareness and understanding among employees. This aligns with the educational component of many CSR programs. Propose employee involvement. Suggest opportunities for employee involvement beyond the talk, such as volunteer programs, fundraising initiatives or collaborative projects that support child welfare and community well-being. Research and identify community and civic groups across the United Kingdom that actively engage with issues related to child welfare, education or community development. 
This could include local residents' associations, parent-teacher groups, youth clubs or cultural organisations. Identify key contacts within groups, determine key contacts within the identified community and civic groups who are involved in event planning or community outreach. This might include community leaders, group coordinators or individuals responsible for organising talks or presentations. Highlight success stories, showcase success stories or initiatives from the Children's Society that have made a positive impact on children and families throughout the UK. Illustrate the tangible outcomes of your work in diverse communities. Tailor the message to community values. Tailor your message to resonate with community values and priorities. Consider cultural nuances and regional sensitivities to ensure your talk aligns seamlessly with the values of community and civic groups throughout the UK. Offer interactive elements with a community. Propose interactive elements for the talk that encourage community engagement. Include discussions or activities that allow participants to connect the presented information with their experiences and concerns, considering the diversity of the communities you contact. Faith organisations. Approaching faith organisations, places of worship and faith institutions to offer a talk on the work of the Children's Society involves a respectful and culturally sensitive approach. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. Research faith organisations. Identify faith organisations, places of worship and religious institutions within your target area. Understand the specific beliefs, practices and values of each faith community. Understand faith-based ethical values. Familiarise yourself with the ethical and moral values upheld by the faith communities you are targeting. This understanding will help you tailor your message to resonate with their specific beliefs. Identify key contacts. Determine the appropriate contacts within the faith organisations who are responsible for community engagement, event planning or external speakers. This might include religious leaders, community outreach coordinators or communication directors. Craft a respectful introduction. Develop an introduction that acknowledges the faith-based values and ethical principles of the target organisation. Emphasise the shared commitment to caring for children and supporting their well-being. Highlight common ground. Emphasise the common ground between the Children's Society's mission and the ethical teachings of the faith community. Illustrate how your work aligns with their values, especially regarding compassion, justice and caring for vulnerable populations. Showcase the Children's Society's impact. Showcase the positive impact of the Children's Society's work, emphasising stories, case studies and statistics that highlight the organisation's contribution to the well-being of children. Make it relatable to the moral and ethical teachings of the faith community. Emphasise shared goals. Clearly articulate how the talk contributes to shared goals of promoting the welfare of children and fostering a sense of community responsibility. Highlight the potential for collaboration between the children's society and the faith community. Propose a topic with ethical considerations. Propose a specific topic for the talk that addresses ethical and moral aspects of caring for children. This could include discussions on child rights, social justice and community engagement. Tailor the content to align with the faith community's teachings. Offer to customise the talk. Express willingness to customise the talk based on the preferences and interests of the faith community. This may include incorporating specific religious teachings or scriptures that relate to the well-being of children. Provide assurance of sensitivity. Assure the faith community that the talk will be delivered with sensitivity to their religious beliefs and practices. Acknowledge the importance of respecting cultural and religious diversity. Propose collaborative initiatives. Express interest in collaborative initiatives beyond the talk. Discuss potential joint projects, community service opportunities or awareness campaigns that involve both the children's society and the faith community. Provide supporting materials. 
Prepare a package of supporting materials that includes information about the children's society, the proposed talk and any relevant publications or resources. Offer materials that align with the faith community's values. Professional associations. Associations related to fields such as psychology, social work, education and child development may want speakers to share expertise and insights with their members. Various professional associations in the UK, particularly those focused on child welfare, social work, education, mental health and related fields, may benefit from a talk by the Children's Society. Here's a guide on how to approach UK-based professional associations. Identify relevant professional associations, research and identify UK-based professional associations related to child welfare, social work, education, mental health and other relevant fields. Examples could include the British Association of Social Workers, the National Association of Head Teachers or the Royal College of Psychiatrists. Understand association objectives. Gain a thorough understanding of the objectives, priorities and mission of each identified professional association. Familiarise yourself with their focus areas, key challenges and ongoing initiatives. Identify key contacts. Determine the key contacts within each professional association who are responsible for organising events, conferences or professional development seminars. Look for contact information on their official websites or reach out through professional networking platforms. Highlight alignment with professional goals. Clearly articulate how the Children's Society's work aligns with the professional goals and concerns of the association's members. Showcase specific programs, research or initiatives that are pertinent to their fields. Showcase expertise and impact. Highlight the Children's Society's expertise and impact in relevant areas. Share success stories, research findings or case studies that demonstrate the organisation's contributions to improving the well-being of children and families. Propose a relevant and engaging topic. Propose a specific and relevant topic for the talk that addresses current issues or emerging trends in the field. Tailor the content to align with the interests and professional needs of the association's members. Offer educational insights. Emphasise how the talk will provide valuable educational insights, practical strategies or innovative approaches that can enhance the professional knowledge and skills of the association's members. Demonstrate collaboration opportunities. Express interest in collaborating beyond the talk. Discuss potential opportunities for joint initiatives, partnerships or knowledge sharing activities that can benefit both the Children's Society and the Professional Association. Offering speaker services to media outlets. Contacting news organisations, radio stations and podcasts to feature speakers from the Children's Society can offer numerous benefits including raising awareness, reaching a broader audience and positioning the organisation as a thought leader. Here are the potential benefits and a guide on how to make introductions. Benefits. Increase visibility. Media coverage provides visibility to a larger audience, helping to reach people who may not be familiar with the children's society. Credibility and trust. Being featured by reputable news organisations or on respected radio stations and podcasts enhances the credibility and trustworthiness of the children's society. Educational impact. Media features offer an opportunity to educate the public about important issues related to child welfare, advocacy and community support. Advocacy and awareness. Features allow for advocacy on relevant topics, creating awareness and inspiring action among the audience. Community engagement. Engaging with media outlets fosters connections with the community and encourages dialogue around critical issues. Partnership opportunities. Media coverage may open doors to potential partnerships and collaborations with other organisations, influencers or stakeholders. Making introductions to media outlets. Research relevant outlets. Identify news organisations, radio stations and podcasts that align with the Children's Society's mission and focus on topics related to child welfare, advocacy and community support. 
identify key contacts, determine the appropriate contacts within these media outlets, look for editors, producers or hosts who handle content related to social issues and community affairs, craft a compelling pitch, develop a compelling and concise pitch that highlights the importance of the children's society's work, clearly articulate why the organisation's mission is relevant and timely, highlight newsworthy elements, Emphasise any newsworthy elements, such as recent achievements, impactful projects or upcoming events that make the children's society's story compelling for media coverage. Offer expertise and resources. Position the children's society as a valuable resource for expert opinions, insights or data related to child welfare and community well-being. Customise pitches for each outlet. Tailor your pitches to each specific outlet, demonstrating an understanding of their audience, tone and content preferences. Provide supporting materials. Include supporting materials such as press releases, fact sheets or relevant reports that provide additional information about the children's society and its impact. Be clear on key messages. Clearly define key messages and talking points that align with the goals of the media outlet. Ensure that the messaging is concise and impactful. Express availability for interviews. Clearly express the availability of speakers from the Children's Society for interviews, whether in person, over the phone, or via virtual platforms. Follow up professionally. Follow up with the media contacts after sending the initial pitch. Express continued interest, offer to provide additional information and address any questions or concerns they may have. Leverage personal connections. If possible, leverage personal connections or introductions. A warm introduction from someone within your network can enhance the chances of getting noticed. Use online platforms. Utilize online platforms and social media to engage with journalists, editors and producers. Share relevant content and initiate conversations to build relationships. Be persistent and patient. Media outreach may require persistence. Be patient and continue to follow up professionally without being overly pushy. Making introductions to media outlets. Research relevant outlets. Identify news organisations, radio stations and podcasts that align with the Children's Society's mission and focus on topics related to child welfare, advocacy and community support. Identify key contacts. Determine the appropriate contacts within these media outlets. Look for editors, producers or hosts who handle content related to social issues and community affairs. Craft a compelling pitch. Develop a compelling and concise pitch that highlights the importance of the children's society's work. Clearly articulate why the organisation's mission is relevant and timely. Highlight newsworthy elements. Emphasise any newsworthy elements, such as recent achievements, impactful projects or upcoming events that make the children's society's story compelling for media coverage. Offer expertise and resources. Position the Children's Society as a valuable resource for expert opinions, insights or data related to child welfare and community well-being. Customise pitches for each outlet. Tailor your pitches to each specific outlet, demonstrating an understanding of their audience, tone and content preferences. Provide supporting materials. Include supporting materials such as press releases, fact sheets or relevant reports that provide additional information about the children's society and its impact. Be clear on key messages. Clearly define key messages and talking points that align with the goals of the media outlet. Ensure that the messaging is concise and impactful. Express availability for interviews. Clearly express the availability of speakers from the Children's Society for interviews, whether in person, over the phone or via virtual platforms. Follow up professionally. Follow up with the media contacts after sending the initial pitch. Express continued interest, offer to provide additional information and address any questions or concerns they may have. Leverage personal connections. If possible, leverage personal connections or introductions. 
a warm introduction from someone within your network can enhance the chances of getting noticed. Use online platforms. Utilize online platforms and social media to engage with journalists, editors and producers. Share relevant content and initiate conversations to build relationships. Be persistent and patient. Media outreach may require persistence. Be patient and continue to follow up professionally without being overly pushy. Section 6. Identifying target venues and events. In this section, we will explore methods for identifying suitable venues for supporter events and understand the criteria for selecting existing events that align with the Children's Society's mission. Identifying suitable venues for supporter events for the Children's Society involves a strategic approach to enhance supporter engagement, raise awareness and generate funds. Here are methods to explore. Know your audience. Understand the demographics and preferences of your target audience. Consider factors such as age, interests and geographical location to choose venues that align with their preferences. Utilize existing supporters. Leverage your existing supporter base for insights. Conduct surveys or engage in conversations to understand their preferred event venues and locations. Collaborate with local businesses. Partner with local businesses, restaurants or venues willing to support charitable causes. Many businesses are open to hosting events in collaboration with non-profits for community engagement. Consider community centres and halls. Community centres, town halls and local event spaces can be cost-effective and accessible options for hosting events that cater to a diverse audience. Explore outdoor spaces. Consider outdoor venues such as parks, gardens or recreational areas for events like charity walks, picnics or family-friendly gatherings, fostering a sense of community. Tap into corporate connections. Engage with corporate partners that may have event spaces or sponsor venues for charity events. This can also provide an opportunity for mutually beneficial partnerships. Leverage virtual platforms. Explore virtual event platforms, especially in a digital age. Hosting online events can broaden your reach and make it convenient for supporters to participate from various locations. Use social media insights. Analyse social media data to understand the geographical distribution of your followers. Consider hosting events in areas with a higher concentration of supporters. Attendee capacity and amenities. Ensure that chosen venues can accommodate the expected number of attendees comfortably. Check for amenities, accessibility and facilities that align with the event's requirements. Maximise local institutions. Collaborate with local institutions such as schools, universities or cultural centres that may have event spaces. This fosters community involvement and aligns with educational or cultural themes. Explore trendy or unique spaces. Consider unique or trendy venues that can create a memorable experience for attendees. This could include art galleries, theatres or unconventional spaces that align with your event's theme. Review past event successes. Assess the success of past events and the venues where they were held. Use feedback from attendees to refine your venue choices and improve the overall experience. Budget considerations. Evaluate the budget available for the event and choose venues that align with financial considerations. Negotiate with venue owners or explore options for in-kind sponsorships. Local authorities and permits. Check with local authorities regarding permits, regulations and licensing requirements for hosting events in specific venues. Ensure compliance with legal and safety standards. Accessibility and inclusivity. Prioritise venues that are accessible to a diverse audience, considering factors such as transportation, parking and facilities for people with disabilities. By employing these methods, you can identify suitable venues that not only enhance supporter engagement and awareness for the children's society, but also contribute to successful fundraising efforts. Section 5. Utilising online resources and databases. In this section you will 
learn how to effectively use online tools and databases for research and understand how to navigate relevant platforms to find potential speaking opportunities. Section 5. Utilising online resources and databases. In this section you will learn how to effectively use online tools and databases for research and understand how to navigate relevant platforms to find potential speaking opportunities. Section 5. Utilising online resources and databases. In this section you will learn how to effectively use online tools and databases for research and understand how to navigate relevant platforms to find potential speaking opportunities. Session 7. Utilising online resources and databases. In this section you will learn how to effectively use online tools and databases for research and understand how to navigate relevant platforms to find potential speaking opportunities. Section 5. Utilising online resources and databases. In this section you will learn how to effectively use online tools and databases for research and understand how to navigate relevant platforms to find potential speaking opportunities. Effectively using online tools and databases for research, especially in finding potential speaking opportunities, involves a combination of strategic search techniques leveraging relevant platforms and staying organised. Here's a guide to help you navigate this process. Identify key search terms. Start by defining specific keywords or phrases related to the topics, themes or issues that align with the Children's Society's mission. This will help you narrow down your search and find more relevant opportunities. Session 8 Assessing Relevance and Impact In this session we will Develop criteria for evaluating the relevance and impact of potential speaking engagements and refine your skills in choosing opportunities that align with the Children's Society's objectives. Alignment with objectives. Assess how well the speaking engagement aligns with the Children's Society's mission, values and strategic objectives. Consider whether the event's theme, audience and goals resonate with our organisation's focus areas such as child welfare, advocacy for vulnerable children and community empowerment. Target audience. Evaluate the relevance of the event's audience to our mission and programmes. Determine whether the audience demographics, e.g. policymakers, educators, parents, youth offer opportunities to raise awareness, foster partnerships or mobilise support for our initiatives. Prioritise engagements where we can reach key stakeholders who have the potential to contribute to our cause or benefit from our services. Potential impact. Assess the potential impact of the speaking engagement on raising awareness, influencing policy, mobilising resources or advancing our organisational goals. Consider factors such as audience reach, media coverage, networking opportunities and the platform's ability to amplify our message. Aim for engagements that offer a meaningful platform for sharing our expertise, insights and stories to affect positive change for children and young people. Resource investment. Evaluate the resource implications, including time, budget and personnel required to participate in the speaking engagement. Consider whether the benefits of the opportunity justify the investment of organisational resources and whether we have the capacity to prepare adequately and follow up effectively. Prioritise engagements where we can leverage existing materials, networks and partnerships to maximise our impact while minimising resource constraints. Long-term strategic value. Consider the long-term strategic value of the speaking engagement beyond immediate outcomes. Evaluate the potential for building relationships, cultivating partnerships and positioning the Children's Society as a thought leader and advocate in our field. Look for opportunities to leverage speaking engagements as part of a broader engagement strategy that reinforces our brand, expands our influence and drives sustained impact for children and young people.
By applying these criteria, you can refine your skills in selecting speaking engagements that align with the children's society's objectives and maximize our impact. Remember to document your evaluations, track outcomes, and reflect on lessons. Learn to continuously improve our approach to engaging with diverse audiences and advancing our mission. Section 9. Coordinating Speaking Engagements Understand the administrative aspects of reaching out to event organisers. Learn effective negotiation and collaboration skills for securing speaking opportunities. Understanding the administrative aspects Understanding the administrative aspects of reaching out to event organisers involves a series of tasks aimed at efficiently coordinating and managing the logistics of securing speaking opportunities. Here are the top administrative tasks involved in this process. Compile speaker information. Gather comprehensive information about potential speakers from the children's society, including their expertise, geographical area, areas of interest, ability to travel and availability. Create a speaker database. Establish a structured database or spreadsheet to organize speaker information. Include details such as bios, topic areas, previous speaking engagements, and any specific requirements or preferences. Identify relevant events. Research and identify events, conferences, and seminars that align with the children's society's mission and expertise compile a list of potential speaking opportunities. Monitor submission deadlines. Keep track of submission deadlines for speaking proposals or applications. Create a calendar or task list to ensure timely submissions and avoid missing opportunities. Prepare speaker proposals. Work with speakers to develop compelling proposals that highlight their expertise and the relevance of their presentations to the target event. Tailor proposals to meet specific event themes or requirements. Coordinate event logistics. Liaise with event organisers to coordinate logistics such as travel arrangements, accommodation, AV requirements and any additional needs for the speaker. Ensure all details are communicated clearly to both parties. Handle contracts and agreements. Manage the contractual aspects of speaking engagements. Draft and review contracts or agreements, addressing terms such as fees, reimbursement policies and other relevant details. Ensure legal compliance. Communicate with event organisers. Establish and maintain effective communication channels with event organisers. Respond promptly to inquiries, provide requested information and build positive relationships. Prepare speaker materials. Assist speakers in preparing presentation materials, including slide decks, handouts, and any other resources. Ensure that materials align with the event's requirements and standards. Track confirmations and responses. Monitor responses from event organizers regarding speaking proposals. Track confirmations, rejections, or any additional information provided by organizers. Maintaining a centralized calendar. Maintain a centralised calendar that outlines all confirmed and provisional speaking engagements, including dates, times, locations and any additional details. This helps in avoiding scheduling conflicts. After a speaking engagement, facilitate follow-up communications with event organisers. Express gratitude, collect feedback and inquire about future opportunities for collaboration. Handle travel reimbursements. If applicable, manage the process of submitting and tracking travel reimbursements. Ensure that all necessary receipts and documentation are provided to the event organisers in a timely manner. Evaluate event success. Conduct post-event evaluations to assess the success of speaking engagements. Gather feedback from speakers and event organisers to identify areas for improvement and lessons learned. By systematically addressing these administrative tasks, you can streamline the process of reaching out to event organisers and ensure smooth coordination between the children's society and the organisers of potential speaking opportunities. Congratulations on completing the self-guided online training for the role of volunteer speakers administrator at the children's society.
Your dedication to this desk-based research and administration role is vital in expanding our reach and impact. Should you have any questions or require further assistance, feel free to reach out to your community relationship manager. Thank you for being an essential part of our mission to support vulnerable children and young people. Best of luck in your role.